Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So this evening, we're gonna answer a real quick question. This is a question I get asked a lot of, and we're gonna answer the age old question of what's in Roy's oil. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's my bucket. This bucket was made popular by my heat treating video where I hardened and tempered a chisel. Maybe you guys have seen it on the channel. It was quite a popular video for the channel, surprisingly so. So, we're going to answer the question, what's in it? Well, besides the bugs that have seemed to accumulate it over the years, there's also, oh, let's see here, a grease rag that I dropped in there and decided was not worth pulling back out. So we just leave it in there. Helps stir things around a bit. And it is a mixture. So this is a mixture. Some of it by chance and some of it on purpose. This is a, well actually most of it by chance. This was an old oil bucket that I had for when I had a tractor. Now, when I had a tractor, I needed to drain the fluids and well, being the heck and as I was at that time, I just decided I'll go ahead and just drain both some of the fluids both off into the same bucket. So what I did is I went ahead and put my oil, which was happens to be 10W20 weight oil in this bucket. Now it's a motor oil, of course. And then I also took some transmission fluid at some point and also drained it into the same bucket. And I said, hey, blacksmiths use oil, right, to heat treat things in. So I did that. Well, through the years, this bucket has heated and condensated multiple times. And therefore, you see this creamy, milky consistency? That is water. So if I had to estimate my little mixture composition here, there we go, we're finally breaking through, getting some of that water up there, getting it mixed in. Um, if I had to estimate what's in the bucket, I would say that it is approximately two parts oil, one part transmission fluid, and one part water. Now, what does this do when you heat treat something in oil? I have no clue, I'm not a chemist. I do know that I take, and take it outside and I do blow a big fan across it to usually blow it away from me as this is not healthy to breathe in as with any oil. Obviously health risks to it. So there you have it. That's what's in the bucket of oil. Now I've been asked many times, what type of oil should you use to heat treat in? Well, I will recommend uh, parts 50. That seems to be the common thread that most blacksmiths like, or bladesmiths rather like, and that seems to be the recommended thing to do. I would say any oil would work, but that is my own personal opinion, and you're just going to have to leave it up to trial and error. But as far as answering the question of what's in the bucket, now you all know. And it makes a terrible mess. We'll just throw this over here on the cold forge. We'll burn that off and let it go up the flue in the next video. So, anyways, so that's it for today. I hope I answered the question good enough. Let me know if I did in the comment section down below. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and drop them there. That's going to be it for today. God bless you all, and thank you so much for watching this video. And I appreciate all my subscribers out there. You all are awesome. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.